today's video, we're going to be going over Santan Solar Solar Calculator, which can be found on our website. It can easily be done on a desktop computer or on your phone. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we made our way onto the website here. This is the homepage for SantanSolar.com. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see where it says check out our new solar calculator. Click on view now and that'll take you to the solar calculator. It says how many panels do you need? This landing page is if you're trying to set up an off-grid system. It lists uh, various appliances that you can add to this list. So for example, if you have a laptop, you charge using about six hours a day, you can add that. All these fields are customizable on the calculator. So if, say you have a freezer, again, you have running all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. The TV, if you're gonna be in all day, watch for six hours. Again, these are just my, again, these are adjustable fields. And so you can change, you know the exact wattage of the appliance, you can change that as well. So we're getting a running tally here. The amount of kilowatt hours you use per day in a month. And the last thing you can add, say you're playing an Xbox or PlayStation, something like that. Uh, not much to do in the day, six hours. Go ahead and add that. And then also, another thing you can add, say you have a phone charger, you know, iPhone charger, typically take, takes about five watts. Say you're having that for four hours, add a couple of those. You hit next, it'll take you to the next field determine how many hours of sunlight you'll have on average in a day. Enter in our zip code, 85297. And that'll shoot out here, average of 6.67 daylight hours uh, of sunlight. Say for example, we change it, this is a zip code in Charlotte, North Carolina. Got a little less sun there. Bay Area, a little bit more. Ultimately, we'll go back to ours here in Gilbert, 85297. We'll hit next. And so here, it gives us a total of our kilowatt hours per month based on what we entered in initially. And then also the sunlight hours that we got based on our zip code. And then solar panel wattage. So that's based on what panels you're looking at. You can adjust that. Say you're looking at 250 watt panels, 400 watt panels, that's adjustable. And then it'll show you your system size, how many kilowatts you need in total. And then based on your solar panel wattage, the number of panels. You can also send the results to yourself and that'll email that to you. And so that's all for an off-grid setup. Um, now, if you're just wanting to determine how many you'll need for a home, uh, for a grid tied setup, you can enter in your zip code, you hit next, and then this number, your kilowatt hours per month, typically on your power bill. So say for example, you use 2000 kilowatt hours per month, you adjustable, uh, adjust the size of the panels there, and that's gonna tell you how many panels you need roughly uh, to cover your needs. And again here, this is where you can email the results to yourself. That way you have them saved. If you're wanting to just quickly get a quick quote on what it'll take to power your system. All these fields are adjustable. And so you can play around with this, figure out what you'll need exactly. This calculator is easy to find on the homepage at santansolar.com. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at our website, santansolar.com, the one-stop shop for all your solar panel needs.